Hey everybody, welcome back to Ground Year 2. We are on the Grail Mountain right now. Let me just ambush some fools here. Uh, why are we here? Because Malthus apparently sent a message to us. And we should meet at the top of the mountain. Uh, last time we figured out, or we saw in a flashback, that one of the reasons why Ryudo hates Malthus so much is that Malthus murdered his own love interest. But it seems like too simple of a story. Like, I don't believe Malthus did it out of malice. I think Malthus just did it out of necessity and then something happened that like he kind of did not expect probably. Let's just go with another howl here. As, at least that's my take, that's what it looks like in my head. Can you stop hitting Elena here? You savage crabs. Just hit those two with a howl from here then. Elena didn't really get to act with just being pummeled for like a hot minute there. Yeah, so my theory before was Malphys killed Rina because she was possessed by Valmer. And then as soon as she killed her, Valmer took over his body or something like that. Which, no idea whether that's even possible, but... I don't know what rules bind Valmer, to be honest. Because possessing kind of seems to be Valmer's thing, right? But like... What kind of people can he possess? Like, just about anyone? Or people with like, corruption in their heart or... Whatever. Uh, let me just save here. By save I mean recover. Someone doesn't let me. That's odd. There we go. <laughs> just, just need to stand on the right spot. Oh look. Some frogs. And also those fire frogs again? Flame toads is what they're called. Close enough. Uh, let's just hit that one. And then Teo. Let's go in with a howl again. Silver. Man, like, I really like using her for these wind spells. Oh yeah, by the way, something I didn't even notice. I was commenting about what she says when she says wind speed and then a number, right? Actually, she says wind speed 0120 and not wind speed 0 and not 1 speed 1020 or something like that. So I guess she's like referencing like 120 miles per hour or something like that. Or kilometers. Hey, look at that. It's the first boss from ground year one. Clay birds. Might as well dive in. How much will a howl even do on these things? Yes. Only one way to find out. They have 1800 HP. And we are doing, oh, 1200. That's pretty nice, actually. Uh, can I hit two of you guys here? Death loss? I don't think it's that bad. We don't get to attack us, we don't even care that much. Oh no, you're only hitting one now? Yeah, it just moved enough to move out of the radius, basically. Son of a bitch. Let's get hands on then. Man, they have a high defense when Americ is only doing like 200 something damage. I think on the frogs it just did like 400 or something, right? Amazing. Can I jump here? Oh, I don't even need to jump, okay. Makibishi acquired. No idea what that is. Makibishi. Uh, let's see, oh, it's there. Power 600 and minus one move. That seems pretty good, actually. Little double effect, I don't mind. Finally, we have the initiative. You know what? Just burn flame him up. Like this. Oh, holy tongues of fire! Punk. Some 
crayfish boil. I pray that we shall be safe ahead. Another blessing scroll. I don't think we have been hit by move or magic block yet. Maybe lucky. Maybe foreshadowing. Um. Ah, what's this? Double moon acquired. That looks like a Teo weapon to me. Is the moon claw here? Double moon? Yeah, why not? Just sweater better. Thank you very much. Are we gonna... Oh, okay. Is this like the intended purpose or... Seems like it. I mean, that's a pretty advanced mechanism right there. I was gonna say, are we gonna defile some graves here? What the heck is this? Oh, it's those guys. It's like... Trends? Man-eating tree, okay. That's one way of putting it. Uh, Tio? They're pretty far apart here, right? Oh, those two are close enough. Wind speed zero one two zero. Yeah, you, s you see, she says zero one two zero. I totally misheard that the first time. It's not spin at. Uh, it's not wind at over one thousand miles per hour speed. Would be amazing though. Uh, Elena, I see somebody casting something there. Maybe a burn flame can get both of them. Doesn't seem like it. Apple hurl. I would rather you don't. Pokemon taught me anything. This should be very effective, and it is. <laughs> no apple hurling today, son. Just conserving some mana with those combo attacks at the end. Okay, fair enough. A little bit of environmental damage. Let me quickly just whip out the magic. Ryuda has healing, as we know. I'm very conflicted about this Grandia's magic system compared to the last one. I like both of them. I really like the approach of having your magic level while you're using it, like the better, Silver. no, the more you use something, the better it gets, the way Grandia wanted it. This one with the point system, it's interesting, but I think the other one is more intuitive, if that makes sense. Just hit him, <laughs> bonk. Let's go in for maximum bonk. There you go. Yeah, so... It's a little bit like in Fire Emblem, right? When you use like one weapon more. You're like affinity raises or whatever the actual mechanic is called. So your affinity just for swords, for example, rises the more swords you're using. I feel like that's very intuitive and a very cool system. I've been thinking about somehow implementing that into D&D. But I don't know how you would manage this on a like a uh, tabletop game right so for me personally it's like okay you could measure it or oh, the more t the more enemies you beat with swords the stronger you get basically but wouldn't it penalize the people who stay like farther away from the action for example like people who like to hang back and heal and also, wouldn't that like incentivize kill, kill stealing and stuff like that? So this is, these are some insider thoughts I'm having when I'm planning D and D sessions. Because I'm always trying to come up with my own interesting systems. Silver. I don't know. It's like a personal obsession of mine. But yeah, how would you do that? I could also count every single attack you make with a weapon, but there would be a lot of counting too. I mean, if you're only running one group, I guess that could be fine. But typically I'm running more than one group and I'm also playing. And you know, like, I have to take notes every time somebody makes an attack with a specific weapon. And I would also like for it to be not transparent to the players. So they don't really know I have the system until I tell them, hey, you know what, like... 
you just gained affinity or something like that and they don't really know why that is. I don't know if any of one of my players is watching this, but if they are, uh, you've heard nothing. <laughs> and then also, if you gain experience with a weapon, for lack of a better term, in D&D, what? Like, what does it actually do? Do you just get like a damage bonus? Do you get a hit bonus? Is it not the same? Like, do you get maybe a hit bonus first and then a dam damage bonus the next time your affinity rises and then hit bonus again? Or do you get like a cool special attack? Those are all things like I'm working on my free time basically. This is why I'm always so busy. I work, I study, I do house chores of course and then also stuff like that. Also Monster Hunter Rise is not making me less busy to be honest. Uh, Elena, if you'd burn that guy. Rise, old flame. Bonk. And then you just howl him here, even though it's only one one person, quote unquote. Wind speed zero one two zero. Yeah, enough D&D talk, by the way, like, you might not even be into D&D, but it's inescapable at this point. I mention it so often, like, during every single Let's Play, basically, so, hey, it's like D&D. Okay, ah, I can get past here? No, this is just a weird environmental object. Okay, I can get across this a grail fruit acquired. What is a grail fruit? Is it here? Is it an attack item? Healing fruit. Mana harp. Probably not an accessory, right? Nope. Probably just scrolled right past it. Oh, there it is. Grail fruit. We still 50 MP. Nice. Uh, let me just quickly do some more magic. We took a hit from that apple there. Everyone else is very much fine. I like that this ground here's mountains really feel like mountains and the caves really feel like caves. It's hard to describe basically, but this mountain doesn't feel like, oh, we're at the top, you know? It just feels like, dang, this is, this is a big environment. Even, what the heck is that even, man? Uh, did I not just come from here? Or oh, what is this direction? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but excuse me. Let me just quote unquote backtrack. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Grand Mountain Road 2. Like, what the heck exploded here, man? Why is everything purple? Why is purple often used as the color of evil, by the way? It's either black, red, or purple, I'd like to say. Or a combination of the three. Isn't it? But, like, what popularized purple as the color of darkness? I mean, it is a dark color, don't get me wrong, but it's not, like, black, right? Let me get this one on the side. Because even if you look at, of course, stuff like Final Fantasy, right? You look at the Dark Knights. A lot of times they have like black armor, but other times they also have like purple armor, right? If you think about Final Fantasy 4 at least. And I think in Final Fantasy 3 they actually have black armor. Don't quote me, I guess. You just slay these vipers, man. Get them the heck out of you. <laughs> that one viper ran out of movement. Nice. Good night. Hard 
hardly worthy of my notice. So the mobs here are pretty easy to deal with actually, but it's treacherous, right? Because I feel like maybe the look there's a bomb over there. Maybe the boss is gonna be real hard. Maybe we even have to fight Malphys here. Of those freaking trees. There's an armor there. Yes, please. Let's quickly walk through the soup. Dark armor. Would you look at that? Get the lion field garb right now. Dark armor. Plus 25 defense. Plus one SP recovery when damaged. Uh, defense would be also very nice on my boy uh, Merrick, but the SP recovery though. Nothing curious. Yeah, I think you want to keep the Earthen Curious actually. You could have the Lion Field Garb actually. Plus 35 defense, poison resist, plus 35 defense, plus 5 attack. Why not? Maybe I should keep the poison resist actually, now that I think about it. Probably not gonna use attack too much. And poison freaking sucks in Grandia. Sucks the life right out of you, man. Uh oh. It's interesting that the enemies are also going slow in this soup. Didn't expect them to actually. Just give him another howl, man. This is what I call leaf blowing, basically. Oh, talk about leaf blowing. I don't know whether I've mentioned that in this series before. I might have. Um, I live right next to like a very small park, right? And. Every morning there's a guy using his leaf blower. Like, how many leaves can it be on the ground, man? It's like a park with like four trees. And you're blowing leaves for like half an hour at like 7.30 in the morning every day. I guess like he gets paid for doing that, but can you just like let me sleep when I come home from a night shift? You son of a gun. Like, am I the only one who's like really... Yes, sensitive to like noise because I feel like this series is also me just constantly complaining about noise <laughs> police the temple the church fire department the guy with the leaf blower just burn him up oh, holy tongues of fire. I don't mean burn the leaf blower guy but I mean burn these guys up by the way Okay, Tio. Yeah, just cast a howl on him. Wind speed zero one two zero. Yeah, so basically, uh, the last few days for me have been really busy, actually. Not really busy with like work per se, but also like studying. And then Monster on the Rise was released one day after my birthday, so that. Has been sucking up way more time than it should, especially on my free days. Like, I have Mondays off, right? Usually, at least. And it just. Oh, look, another rare fruit. And it just, like, man, it, it's like, oh, I'm gonna play a little bit of Monster, and then it goes, whoop, and 10 hours are gone, and it's night. And he, <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, I've only been playing a little bit, man. How. How did this happen? Seriously, like, if you own a Switch. Get Monster that will also be released for the PC next year, but don't wait, man. Don't sleep on this game. Let me do this. Oh, did that guy just walk into my howl radius? Please say yes. Wait, it's only you now, okay? There's at least one other guy. Okay, they're just hitting Ryu though, that's fine. As much as I hate to say it. Oh, those are flame tots, right? So I probably don't want to cast a burn flame here. Tio. I wonder whether her name is actually just T-I-O or something, because she's a robot. Wind speed zero one two zero. Imagine 
being an evil minion getting your freaking ass whooped by a Roomba who can't who can like cast spells. Dance. Wish my Roomba could cast spells, man. Or maybe maybe I wish it couldn't. <laughs> but I treat my Roomba well. Oh yeah. Treating robots well. Okay, here's a thing I was thinking about the other day. When you use something like Siri or Google or something like that. And for example, you want to turn on the flashlight on your phone. I don't know how many people use voice commands for this. I've just tried it a few times. Do you say, hello Google, turn on the flashlight or hello Google, please turn on the flashlight. Thank you. Because I do the second thing and one of my friends said it's ridiculous that I'm saying please and thank you to an AI. And I said you should just get some manners, man. <laughs> uh, we weren't that savage, but... It's something we're thinking about, right? Is this... Oh, it's totally walkable, okay. Isn't it? Like... AI is getting smarter and smarter, right? Like, I'm not saying Google is, like, getting offended when I say... When I'm not being courteous or something like that. I'm just saying, man, like should get into the habit of just generally like being respectful towards people even though Winsky, some people are zero, not like one, two, zero. real people I guess. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tangent this is man but maybe I'm the only person in the world who thinks about this. Can I just warp around and smack those fools and then... Oh Tio it's you again? Who's this guy even attacking? Merrick okay. Eric, just go quickly into defense mode. Oh, nice counter. Get smacked. And then we just combo this guy. Look at the triple hit. Hit it so hard that the mushroom appeared. Red Goblin Toad. Probably Red Goblin Toad stool. 1000 gold. Thank you, thank you. Cannot get down there, right? Nope. Cannot just butt slide down there, Monster on the Rise style. Too bad. So intersection. Okay. There's not an intersection anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ, that claybird was quick. Just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Holy moly. Now why don't we do a tornado? I don't know how quick that is. Oh, it looks reasonably quick to me. Release wind. Yep. Release him, Tio. Just send all of us into a better future, man. This tornado just looks like the spell, but it's red instead. <laughs> I like how calm she is when she just commits ca casual murder. Oh god, another clay bird. Let me nip that one in the butt. Uh, just big combo time. Then maybe Elena can do a little burn flame here. I mean, they're clay birds, so I guess I will just turn them into pottery with that little flame. Will this hit the outer one? I'm, I'm not sure. Flame. Looks like it's only hitting two. It's hitting three. Okay, nice. One gone already. Exceptional. Done. Hardly worthy of my notice. You have to send better birds if you want to stop me, man. Yeah, I think I was about to walk here. Excuse me. I like to get on, there we go. Like what even is that supposed to be, man? It's like a gooey grappling hook or something like that? Look how they just bottleneck me into fighting those enemies. Yep, I was surprised. That was a stupid move. At least we get to hear the incredible track again. At least until Tio totally wraps them apart. Uh, rips them apart, wraps them Winsky, apart. Zero, one, two, zero. 
bit of blast on three snakes here. Okay, Merrick. Not having a great time there, man. Oh, two hits for one, huh? That's not that good. Uh, this one has low HP. Just make this one. And the laner just... Show this one the way out. Down Ryudo. Hit him. Got him. Perfect. Ah, let's see, this is where I saw that bomb from earlier. There was a dynamite. Okay. I guess we need to go like here. More snakes. At least this time we weren't surprised. Running a little low on MP here. Uh, just hit him like this. Merrick will be up next. Apparently. Probably gonna send him on the frontal ones and then Ryudo can teleport behind them. Ah, this one acts next, huh? Okay. Text of Lena. This will take it a while. Got him. Teleport. Please. Or not, I guess. Okay, and then we just combo this fool. Bang. Bang. Nice. I wonder where the next recovery point is, man. I need my MP back. Only trying to conserve as much as possible here. Oh, there we go. Nice. What an opportune timing, man. Just quickly save the game here. Just out of paranoia, basically. Shrine Square. Damn. Love destroyed stuff here, man. Is it like a cave here or something? Oh, it looks like a temple. What do we have here? Never thought I'd see this place again. The place where my nightmares began. Let's do this quickly. Yeah, man, let's just get it over with. Eerily quiet here, man. Is it just a hole busted in the wall? That looks like a very unnatural hole, man. Here's where it began. Oh, yep, okay. Looks like Valma to me. This! A seal of grandness. There's still much I don't understand. The only thing I do know is that Malthus wanted the power of Valma. He wanted it so desperately he killed Rina to get it. I cannot believe that someone would murder a loved one for power. Is it foreshadowing? Watch me stab Elena. Okay. I mean the seal thing is here, but do you need me to interact with it or something? Because it doesn't seem like I can. Is there another exit? Like here? Well, let's go just back to Shrine Square. Oh, I guess I can only go back now. That's strange. It only shows me the back direction. That's so strange. Let me just quickly look around here. Whether there's something there. Ah, there we go. I, I thought so. I thought Malthus would be like, Oh, you're already on your way back or something? Dwelling upon found remembrance, brother? No words, no escape. For you. 
Call an ambulance, but not for me. Ah, Ryudo, as always, a sad little boy with little to say. I know you too well. I know your every weakness. Come, brother. Wait. Yeah, he's off to play. You know what, guys? This is where I'm gonna say thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time we'll maybe duel with Malthus. Seems like that's where we're headed here. But for now, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But more importantly, have a nice day. I'll be seeing you next time and bye-bye.